Pete and his gang. Get them horses out of here, boys. Horses are headed across the border by now. You said it. Get him on his horse, boys. Here's another bunch of bronc for them fellers across the line. Yeah, nice herd. Them horse wranglers put up a fight this time. Oh, is that so? This country's sure getting roused up again. It's... Well, this will be your last raid, Mustang. The boss has got a new scheme that'll keep those hombres below the line happy and supplied. And cut out all the risks, too. Sounds good. You're moving over to Pecos County. Heard you been having some luck, Miss Jones. Dropped in to see if I could be of any help. You were my dad's friend, Marshal. When he died, he left me this ranch. A lot of debt. 
A deputy marshal to depend on. And a bunch of useless horses eating their heads off. Times have been hard along the border. How oh, well I know it. I heard the army was in the market for remounts. So I wrote the department. And now do you know that those same horses may help pay my debt? And the whole county will be glad to hear that. A uh, Captain Hartford, remount officer, is on his way now to close the deal. We start the roundup tomorrow. I'll get the boys. Good morning, stranger. Good morning. I hope you're well enjoying our scenery. I certainly am. Hey, look here. This is some trouble. He's riding into the canyon. We'll head him off at the south end. Come on, boys, get on there. It's him, all right. Sure is. Lend a hand with him. You, you can't get away with this. Oh, yes, you can. You just stay quiet and peaceful. The dummy has his orders. Nice piddle you ride. Sure looks well with our boss in the saddle.
exchange reckon for you down at the corral, Miss Schoen. Reckon it's that army officer you've been expecting. Thanks, John. Send it back. No. No, oh, boy. Hello, Mr. Ranson. Hello, yourself. Miss Prescott. Hello. Nice to see you back. Couldn't stay away. Not after that meal you served me last week. The old story, to win a man, feed him well. Have a chair. Another dinner like that, and I'm practically won. Had a long ride? Yes, uh, just looking over the horses. Think I may sell them to the army. So I heard. Perhaps I can help. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Uncle Sam's man is here right now. What's his name? My name is Captain Hartford. And are you Miss Prescott? Yes. And I've been expecting you, Captain Hartford. This is Mr. Rankin. Mr. Rankin heard about the horses and came to offer his help. Oh, indeed. Are you interested in horses, Mr. Rankin? More interested in Miss Prescott's cooking, Captain Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, I'll stand. Here are my credentials. It is all very simple. When the horses are grilled and counted, I'll give you a government draft. How about inspecting those horses? Who's going to do that? I'll take care of that. And I'll arrange to drive them to the junction for loading, too. The junction's right on the border. It'd be just too bad if some of those horses strayed over the line. Oh, oh, I hope not. I'll take that responsibility. Where are your insignia, Captain? Here they are, Mr. Rankin. Saves a lot of saluting. And I could wear a dress suit on this mission, if I cared to, Miss Prescott. When the horses are ready, we'll close the deal. And in the meantime, I'll do everything to protect your interests. Good day, Captain Hartford. Good day, Miss Prescott.
Don't move, Mistkin. You're coming with me. We've got a lot to talk about. We sure have. Just waiting around for a chance to drive those horses across the border, eh? Keep moving. Halt, Mr. Rankin. We turn to the left here. Suppose I decide not to turn. That would be just too bad. You win. I'm in a hole. Don't shoot! Captain Hartford, do you drop that gun or do I heave up on your arm? Oh, oh. He's a fine horse, Hartford. Ever see another just like him? No, I never have. And I'm warning you, Rankin. I'm taking steps to keep you safe until those horses are shipped. Sure, I know. You didn't press your trigger because you want to know what I know. And you didn't shoot because those horses wouldn't be handy for you if I wasn't here. They'd stay out on the range. Huh. Maybe you're right. See you later. Hey. Oh. oh, Pendo. What's the matter with you, anyway? Oh, I... Oh, what's the matter with you? All right, go on, take your hand.
All right, Captain. I'm listening, and you can depend on me, too. You know, I'm convinced that he's an agent for those revolutionists and bandits below the border. Just waiting a chance for Miss Prescott's horses to be easy to run off. You know, that trick's been worked before. I know. And I ain't aiming to have no sharpshooter make a monkey out of me. Play safe. Throw him in. And what your... Anyway, that'd have tipped my hand. I'd admire to catch him red-handed. Sure looked swell with his neck stretched to a tree. And that pretty pinto stepping out from under him. <laughs> That's the way we treat horse thieves in these parts, Captain. Just keep him where we can see him. I'm ready to buy those horses. That's easy. Let's go. Boys, I appreciate your sticking by me during these hard times. I'm glad I'll soon be able to repay you. Shucks. We ain't done nothing, Miss Joanne. We told your old man we'd stick. And we will. That we sure will. All right, boys. Let's Circle A outfit is sure making it easy for us. Who are those men up there? Was Rankin with them? I don't know, Miss Joan, but I reckon we better get this job done pronto. You're right. Hustle them into the corral. safe and counted, Miss Joanne. Laughing at my troubles, 
and my woes, and I'm telling you no lie, when I hope that till I die, I'll be singing and a-riding down the highway. <laughs> Singer Marshal, what brings you here? Orders to get the best deputy marshal in Texas to work with me. <laughs> well, if you mean me, just count me in. It's been a long time since you and I worked together. Yeah, take a look at this. Da, 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 da. Here's his first instruction. That was thrown through my window in Presidio. It was wrapped around a stone. Mysterious, all right. But what's up? You know this fellow Rankin? No, I don't. Do you know this fellow Bainbridge? No, I don't know him either. But that code number is the big chief. Interest seems to be around a shipment of army remounts by a girl named Prescott. Know her? Sure. And know all about the horse, too. What is the Secret Service worrying about a couple of hundred coyotes for? Oh, it goes deeper than that. Anyway, let's go on out to the ranch. All right. Now, if you get orders with this signature on them, can I depend on you to cooperate? You sure can. I thought so. Remember the signature. Bainbridge. Bainbridge it is, singer. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ah, da, da, da. I don't believe there's any danger. Surely you don't expect a raid. I expect anything. Your horse is passing all right. And so that fellow Rankin is where he can be watched. I'll give you a draft. Then your worries will be over. Don't you worry, Miss Jones. We'll take care of Rankin. I'll take care of myself, Sheriff. Keeping an eye on him like you said, Sheriff.
and we trailed him here. Good work. I ain't taking any chances with you, young fella. Now you can get to work, uh, Captain Hartford. Oh, I'm sure you're wrong about Mr. Rankin. I don't think so. Anyway, nobody's going to hurt him if he minds his business. Let's get to work. Looking pinto. Sure is. I used to know a couple of horses looked just like him. They were twins. That so? Let's go. You go on into the house. I want to take a look around. Exceeding your authority, Sheriff. Nobody forced me to come here. Yeah? Well, when Miss Joan has a pay and them horses leave the corral, maybe I'll give this back to you. After the power. Sheriff? Say, what brings you here? My horse brought me here. Captain Hartford, this is Deputy Marsh. I'm glad to know you, Marshal. How are you? Miss Jones, do you know a fella named Rankin? Why, you're looking at Mr. Rankin now. What do you want to know about me? Just step outside with me and I'll tell you. Not on your life. He don't leave this room. Marshal, I'm a remount officer. And I'm about to sign a draft for Miss Prescott's horses. And I won't pay a dime to her unless Rankin stays in this room. All right, he can stay. But I'll be talking to you after it's all over, Rankin. You ain't talking to nobody. Rankin's my dear. Pardon me, gentlemen. Let's get down to business. Just glance over that bill of sale, Miss Prescott. This thing's about ready to pop. Stick around for the chief's orders. It's a lead pipe cinch. It sure is. And here are your orders. Everybody reach for the sky. Turn around. Sign this paper. I'm ready to give you a draft. Don't sign that bill of sale. Sign that paper. Miss Prescott. Don't. Please. Wait another day. Stalling for time, ain't you? It won't work, Rankin. Please. Good girl. Here's your draft. Thanks, Sheriff. Good night, Miss Prescott. I'm sorry to have disarranged your plans, Mr. Rankin.
The twin pinto. Back to the house. You win, Hartford. You're right, Rankin. We're going to drive those horses to the junction. They're here. And they're going to take care of you, too. Can't we make a deal? <laughs> Get going. Running off the horses. Stick by me, Captain, and I'll see that you don't get hurt. Get mounted. Jack, old pal, it's me. What? Where'd you come from? The twin Pinto. Your Pinto, he led. Now we can finish our job. Let's go. You haven't got a chance.
Thanks, Martin. You were just in time. That's all right. And you found him at last. Just a moment. You stick by me, Captain. All right. Put out your wrist, Frank, and we'll show you. Wait a minute. He's mine. Wait nothing. How, how did you get in here? I've got your fellows all nicely trussed up in Miss Prescott's barn. Captain Hartford. Marshal, here is your prisoner. Folks, let me introduce to you the real Captain Hartford. Who in blazes is he? Bainbridge. Secret Service. That's a lie. Come on, get going. It's a lie, I tell you. Come on. Well, it all beats me. <laughs> Better luck next time, Sheriff. But why did you stampede my horses? That draft wasn't worth a nickel. Oh, I'm ashamed. You were trying to help me all the time. Come on, let's go home.